What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. While you're all here, I'd like to tell you about Compare.com. Compare.com is a sponsor of the stream currently. You can see their banner over there on the left, on the right. I guess it's your right. And Compare.com compares lots and lots and lots of different insurance companies all at once. And uh, one thing you can do is get a quote. Make sure you're saving the most money. Even if you think you are saving the most money, you can still check it out. It's free. It's totally free. Uh, and you could save up to $70 a month. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty sweet uh, service. And also, if you use the link down below, you can be entered to win a sweet Logitech gaming pack with uh, several different sweet Logitech products. So definitely do that. It's a great way to support the channel. It's a great service. It's a great way to find out if you're saving the most money you possibly can on your car insurance. So check it out. Unforgiven, I totally remember when that happened. He was like, I had to work several jobs back in my day and if I could, and I'm like, what? You're making like, the, the re so basically, like, it was just so fucking backwards. Like, what are you talking about, you crazy maniac? We did not try mono white, but I also don't enjoy mono white. So I kind of, like, steer clear of the things that I don't enjoy. I kind of just want to take Volcanic Island. I feel like it's the safest pick here. Do you enjoy winning? I don't enjoy winning if I'm playing an unfun deck. Like, if I go to an event and I play mono red because it wins, like, I'm not going to have fun in my matches. The winning doesn't uh, uh, necessarily appeal to me. The winning in fun ways and with obscure strategies, that's what appeals to me. So, the, the problem is sometimes those two things don't line up and that's where the disappointment l lies. Where I'm like, oh, cool. I'm not winning with this, you know, with this off the wall strategy. I, I've always, I've always considered myself something of a, a hipster when it comes to deck choices and things like that's literally what I've made my name off of, right? Like mo things like modern Monday, where I would constantly play different modern decks that no one's seen or heard of yet. Like it's, I mean, that's pretty, pretty standard, I would say. Remember that green from from ET. <laughs> ET, you better remember that green from from. Um, I kind of want to take Kiki Jiki since we've already led with a volcanic island. I could see an argument for Ponder for sure, for Fallen Shinobi, because obviously I love that card. And Wandering a few more, Mike. I'm going to take the Jeeks. I'm also going to put this in my deck because I don't know why I throw things in the sideboard randomly, but here we are. So now we can take a Duretti, being a little Grixis. Because this guy's very good. Or we can just take this Mujin. It's hard to type with brat paws like mine. What the hell's a brat paw? Magda is a sleeper hit. That has not been my experience. Magda seems pretty underwhelming. Like the other dwarves part is irrelevant. Uh, you, like the, the, the dwarves are never, never relevant, right? Whenever a dwarf becomes tapped. So basically you attack, whenever you attack with her, you make a treasure. Sacrifice five treasures, which, I, again, I don't think that's going to happen. To search for an artifact or dragon card. Uh, like, like, because most of the time she's a 2-1, right? Like, you're, you're trading her in to get one treasure. And I'm just kind of like, and? I, I, think, I think this is the correct pick, but this is the unforgiven pick. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Hey! Hey! Hmm. So this is interesting. I'm kind of in for Badlands. I'm also in for Boros Signet. And I'm also kind of in for Valky. I don't think I'm in for Valky, right? Can we through the breach of Valky and put it into play on the backside? The answer is probably no. The answer is most assuredly no. I'll take the Boros Signet. I'll, I'll, I'll play it smart. We won't act like a dum-dum. I think we're taking Sacred Foundry because with Boros Signet, 
again, like we could actually just, we could Kiki Jiki Resto if we get that Resto back. Show me that. Oh, damn it. <laughs> no Resto. Impulse and Phantasmal. I want to take the Impulse here. <laughs> Let's try. I don't know if it works. Let's find out. I kind of like Pyroclasm. Keeps us safe. Actually, I like Flame Tongue Kavu here. We're running it again and again. <laughs> Unforgiven, I appreciate you. <laughs> oh, man. Do we just take Flame Tongue? Yeah, Flame Tongue's good. Man, no resto for the wicked is right. Or for the good. No resto for anyone, really. Oh, the wandering fumeral came back? God, so lucky. Hashtag blessed. Look, look, we'll take this stupid Magna now. If you wanted to put the Planeswalker side into playoff at all, out, dang. Chanel is allowing our dreams to not be memes. I guess, or something like that. Deck is looking good. We just need Sneak Attack and Emrakul. And then I'll, you know what? I'll concede. Oh, I actually like Dire Fleet Daredevil. Hmm. You got a time walk? Me too. You got ancestral? I got that. Big pan 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 and cheese. Han color moxel. That's the ticket, boys. That is the ticket. And we're gonna take the ticket. And we're going to put the ticket over here. And now we're going to get past the Emrakul. It's all going to be good. Didn't he say we're going to get past the Emrakul? It's all good. Fuck, he said it. He said it. Oh, now we're Cryptic Commanding for sure. <laughs> Do Sneak Attack next. Yeah, we're taking Cryptic Command here. We already got Fumeral and Volcanic on it. All we need is the Steam Vents. Come on, Steam Vent me. Did you hurt your arm patting your own back on that Epic Call? No. No. I would never do that. Oh, what? Volcanic Island? We already have Volcanic Island. It's in the sideboard right here. Do you want us to get a second Volcanic Island? That's so aggressive, Antibody. Um, I like miscalc here. Yeah. Okay, hear me out. Armageddon. I've heard you out. Okay. Uh, God, this pack's not good. Monastery Swift Spear is a banger. I think we're just taking Brain Freeze. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Does it matter? I don't know. Is there anything good in this pack? We'll take Council's Judgment just in case we're able to cast it. We have Sacred Foundry, Boros Signet. It's good enough. Like, it's the best card for us in this pack, so. Ooh, I like a Fire Ice. Zellies. Oh, yeah, we got them Zellies. Oh, God, show and tell. Ugh. I mean, is it... Is it worth it to try to to try to live the dream? I mean, if any deck is a show and tell deck, we are a show and tell deck with Ulamog, Emrakul, and Ugin. Actually, Ugin's not going to be put into play. This was before Planeswalkers. This was not written in such a way that uh, would get you a Planeswalker. Like, Eureka just says permanence. So you can, even though Planeswalkers didn't exist back then, you could still put one into play. Why not? Our season is down the drain. God damn. 
easy, easy unforgiven. I gotta, I have feelings, you know. Oh, Shieldbreaker's actually, I'll, I'll main deck a Shieldbreaker. All right, Ravages. Uh, okay. Oh, I'll take a Sower. I'll play a Sower. You like how we go two to four? This guy, you're going to go over here for now, but maybe we'll get something good. All right, well, nothing exciting in this pack, unfortunately. Bloodstained Mire actually seems pretty good for us. We got Sacred Foundry and Volcanic to get. Yeah, we'll take a Bloody Boy. Ooh, Time Twister. Pact of Negation. I mean, it's it's barely power. <laughs> um, I think force is... Yeah, we're going to take the force here. Why not? Okay. Well, things are drying up here pretty, pretty significantly. It's not Tezzerite. It's not Hellrider. It might just be Faithless. Actually, we'll take Repeal. I'm not a big looting fan. Uh, Shelly with Emrakul and Ulamog and Ugin. I also love a Leovel, but it's not. That, that ain't us. Goldspan Dragon's great. Commits Memory's great. We're going to take Sheldock here. Wear tear seems fine. I feel like Plateau might be the pick here. It also lets us just play Council's Judgment. I mean, Charter Course is also good. It is drying up, unfortunately, which is really kind of sad because we had it, we had it all, and now we're we're dying. And Ugin is using something, you know what I'm saying? Take a Venser here, Sea Chrome Coast. Shut out of the Scalds. Yeah, I'm going to take the coast here. I'd rather have another blue source. Wow, Dig Through Time came back? Sweet. I'm in. You can dig it, baby. Actually, let's we can take Season Pyromancer and also bring back Skull Clamp now. Yep, Faithless Looting came back because it's poop. Are you considering playing Emrakul? Yeah, of course. We're, yeah, I mean, we're not considering it. We're going to literally do it. And we got through the breach, so. I'm taking Oblivion Ring. And we also have show and tell. Like, it might just be... 
Disenchant was actually a nice pickup for the last pick. It might just be worth it to go all in on the on the show and tell, even though we all hate it. Oh, no, we're definitely not hard casting Emrakul. I mean, we wouldn't even hard cast Ulamog, to be fair. Like, even 11 is too much for, like, a deck with just normal means. I mean, like, okay, we all we all know show and tell. We all know show and tell is a meme. We all know it is a trap meme. But. But. What if now is just our time to shine? We have two cuts to make. I mean, we have Ulmog and Emrakul, right? I think we can cut this because we already have Shield Breaker. I do kind of want Skull Clamp now that we have Seasoned Pyromancer. Uh, I think Flame Tongue Cobb was is main deckable for sure. No, we definitely don't cut Kiki because we also have Zell's Conscripts. And there could be a situation where we play Zealous Conscripts on like seven mana untap a land show and tell kiki jiki and then combo off like that's definitely an option as well i think we got a good council's judgment double white seems real ambitious like there's no reason to play the white plus we have cryptic and vencer and sower like we have a lot of Right, exactly. We have blue. I mean, to be fair, like all of our white sources also tap for blue and red, right? So it's mostly just like that just turns this into island mountain mountain for that. I mean, I would play the plateau and the sacred foundry for wear tear if I if we played wear tear, but. So I think this is the deck. I kind of just want the Skull Clamp, though, because we have Magna, Shieldbreaker, Dire Fleet, Season Pyromancer. Maybe that's just too cute. I mean, this is 23. I don't think we have to cut Magna right now. Plus, like, Magna just... If, if Magna just gets in there for two turns and gets us two treasures, like, it's not terrible. It's definitely ramping us to, to more important cards. If anything, I'd cut Repeal. But I think this is fine, and we'll play it like this for now. We'll see what happens. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. 5, 6, 7, 8. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 6, 7, 8, 9. This is 11, 9. I think that's probably okay. And we also have Boros Signet. All right. Turn through show and tell either Venser or... Yeah, I know. I, I know. I understand. I mean, I don't think it's, I don't think turn three Venser is going to be a good game. They're just going to have a Venser on the board. But there's going to be matches where they just don't have anything good. So let's put an Emrakul into play. Oh, what up, Matt? <laughs> oh, dear.
Um, I don't know why the queues are taking so long. I have heard rumors that it's because there was, uh, it's a thing called win trading where like you go into a match with a friend, you join the queue, a friend joins the queue, you get paired up. Um, then you can like concede to each other to get the maximum number of like points or cards or what have you. So I've heard they've added a little extension to certain queues so that your timing is never correct, right? It's just kind of a way to play around that. I have no idea if that's true or not, but... Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to get angry about that, like you, you might have, I'm sure you have bigger problems in your day than waiting a little bit longer for a, a vintage cube queue. And if not, then you're still in great shape, so. I don't know. It's not really worth getting pissed off about. <laughs> well, we got an infinite combo in our hand. I don't know if you guys... You guys ever heard of infinite combos? Oh, Brett from the Shadows. I like the Phantom. Take my money. Okay, I'll take your money. Oh, Vintage Beef. 35 <laughs> The highest mana cost of a spell cannot be above three. Wait, 35 color or three? Hold on, this is... Hold on, this is... I'm going to need you to demonstrate that loop, please. I'll demonstrate it. Don't you worry. Okay, three five color aggro. The highest mana cost of a... Three to five color. The highest mana cost of a spell cannot be above three unless it's Sun Titan or Revel Arc. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't show up on the on the dash like on the on the on screen notification. We're probably gonna be we're probably gonna start doing stips soon because because uh, it's just gonna it's just gonna be nicer then because then at least I can be like oh I lost because this stip just didn't allow me the tools to win. You know, instead of instead of being like, oh, my skill level didn't allow me the tools to win. Interesting. Well, we're not show and telling here, right? The HUD. Yeah, the yell the old yield HUD. I think it's probably Venser here. Okay, okay. Still having hold up for my thousand year storm step. You can blame our step. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be like, God, this step was just terrible. I feel like I would have won had it not been for the terrible uh, choices I was forced to make during the stipulation. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. We're in Salt, literally the most supportive community. And uh, I'll see you next time. I'm going to ice this guy down. Oh, so chilly. I wanted to hit a land. And, and we did, so I'm okay with it. Let's go. Let's play Shellarino here. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The fattest of daddies. You can dig it, baby. You guys know this jam that I'm singing? Also, worth noting, Vintage Beef, thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. I didn't say it because I was too busy reading it and discussing it, but thank you. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. I remind you of an older George Clooney. <laughs> the fuck like okay hey that's a good compliment but also like holy shit george clooney is definitely older than me i 
I don't even have brain freeze in my deck, buddy. Did I take the brain freeze? Is it over here? No, I didn't even take it. Wow, that is a, sh a shockingly white red sideboard. I wonder if we can just make a white red uh, a Jeskai control deck out of this. What are they doing? They're just not gonna play spells? I don't understand what's happening. Oh boy. What we what we can do is if they tap out for something, we can through the breach Kiki Jiki. If they try to counter it, we're still on their turn, so we can we can force their counter spell, and then we can untap Zealous Conscripts and kill them. That's what's gonna happen. I mean, it's probably not gonna happen. Let's be honest. Tap out for like a Grave Titan or something stupid. Just tap out for the dumbest bullshit. Damn it, they're just not going to play anything? I don't understand. I mean, I'm not going to walk into it. Like, they haven't played anything. They have five cards. We got more cards. <laughs> it's got to count for something, right? I mean, this is an Emrakul. Oh, this is an Ulamog, and I get to cast it, so yeah, that's cool. One, two, three, four. Thief of Sanity. I'm just going to repeal that because I can. Interesting. We have more cards, therefore we are winning. I mean, I subscribe to that metric for sure. Oh, I like that. Hmm. I'm just going to Dire Fleet Daredevil here. Give me that demo, boy. You can demo if you want to. Honestly, I'm tempted to get... Here's the thing. I get Emrakul. End of turn. Daddy Biden's stimmy draft just got <laughs> All right, I could do that. I love just got chance. So, like I was... <laughs> like I was saying. Matthew, dude, I appreciate you. Thank you, buddy. I have to... I'll have to mark down some just got chance. Okay. We can get Emrakul. End of turn through the breach. If they try to respond on their turn, we force it. If they try to respond on our turn, we force it. I think that's it. I think that's the dream. We have to discard, and that's quite all right, though. We would like a land here, but, you know, what are you going to do? Let's pitch... Shield Breaker. It's the only red card that doesn't inherently have a sweet combo associated with it. Okay, you got it. They're like, I needed that green source. Oh, boy. <laughs> They're like, oh, good, he got rid of the Embrace Shield Breaker. That's, see, that's kind of suspicious, right? Like... Ashen Rider. This is a very suspicious chain of events here that's happening. Uh huh. Huh. Like you waited for me to discard this and then you played two artifacts. Uh huh. I mean, we have to go for it, right? Okay, it's less suspicious because this just resolved. Hmm. 
they kill him with the Annihilator, who, the Emrakul? I mean, I don't really care. Like, they're losing five mana sources. It's totally fine. I mean, that's like having Armageddon in your deck without actually destroying any of your own lands. Yeah, what Josh is saying is actually... Um, I, I, that's what I was thinking as well. Because I'm like, they had exactly the amount of mana to cast Ashen Rider. So they probably... I mean, there's they had no incentive to play Soul Ring or Mox Emerald until they can actually utilize that mana. So I did forget this guy was in their hand, actually. Okie dokie. Let's get some hits in here. Okay. Not immensely exciting, unfortunately. They're going to get a hit, but we have kiki jiki so and we can also protect our conscripts here so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> ironically both of our eldrazi are exiled here okay they didn't take magna so they magna so they did presumably take a spell <laughs> unless they just wanted to take a land and throw us off which would be absolute next level plays also worth noting Unforgiven we finally threw the breached in Eldrazi well I can't play Prowler anyway I only got one mana so and I want to play Kiki Jiki way before oh yeah no Yeah, that's going to be game, I think. Uh, we will play around days. Nice. Um, <laughs> Now I'm kind of tempted to not put show and tell in the deck because they also have big fat idiots. God dang, third time's the charm. To be fair, Through the Breach is a card I'm really uh, attracted to in this format because it's just fun to sneak in an Emrakul and kill somebody with it. Um, I kind of like Disenchant here. Actually, I like Wear and Tear better, right? Like, that's an on-color Disenchant. Bober the Scrober, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate you. Um, Spell Pierce seems good. Do we have any, thank like, you. any more? We don't have any more shooties? Big Joe Bach, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, my dude. I kind of like Avalanche Rider 2 over Flame Tongue Kavu. That seems better. Everything else seems good. Oh, yeah, we should have stuck the plateau in here. Oh, God. Uh, I will keep this hand, though. Yeah, I haven't seen Sneak Attack in numerous drafts. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. I guess we have Boros Signet for the Wear Tear, so that's nice. Oh, so if it is an MTG pack route himself. Wow, they had wasted zero, zero seconds making rats.
I mean, we can still hold out for enough mana to uh, through the breach and draw an Emrakul. That's our that's our go-to, I think. Okie dokie. Armageddon. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow, this is like, this is all in on the Ratty Boys. Uh, here's a next level play. You guys ready for it? Kill your ratsy with my ratsy. Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? I mean, I'll definitely block your rat. Hmm. The problem is we can double block. They can kill just Sower and get their rat back. Is that a problem? I don't know. Probably just... Hmm. Um, no, we're going to wait till it's a three, I guess. Once it's a three, then we can double block and they have to kill two rats. Oh, okay. Smell you later. <laughs> Ulamog again. Deal. Deal, deal, deal. All right. Well. Well, well, well. I feel like we're doing fine. I like force in hand. That's reassuring. Now we have the five mana on board. All we need is to draw the Emrakul right off the tippity top. Hmm. See, this is a good play, actually, because if we do double block... Oh, actually, we can just do one of these jobbies, right? I guess they just discard a rat. Yeah, this is not... Man, my kingdom for a fire ice here. Wow, that would have been so good. We got nine on board, and we can tap for a turn. So we got like two turns. <laughs> See, this is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. Never didn't have that. Wow. Okay. Three rats. Keep a land. Sounds good. Okie dokie. This does... This is a non-bow with our Sheldock Isle, unfortunately, but I'm trying to not to mind as much because they have, you know, two lands in play. I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely Cryptic Command. I mean, they're at five. Oh, we're just going to, okay. I was just going to put them to one, but yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> all right. Get her done. Get her done. That's how you do it. Oh, what up, Chaos Theory? Chaos Theory, did you know I'm a professional magic player? I was about to ask how we're doing. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, things are happening. Two through the breaches in a match. I never thought I'd see the day. Never thought I'd see the day. But then I did see the day. the day was seen.
You couldn't be a pro. Pros don't flex like that. It's true. Dang it. He's on to my tricks. He's on my tricks. Bidet? What did I say that sounds like bidet? Oh, come on. One second? Really? You're just going to make a timeout? Man, you people got problems. My league matchmaking failed. Did you also see the sign? The one from Ace of Base? It opened up my eyes, I saw the sign. No one's got a Michael B. Michael B's out in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, go back downstairs, you fucking urchin. Oh, okay. Michael B said he's going to take a shit. I don't know if you guys heard him. I was multitasking and just heard you say what sounded like bidet over and over. I don't actually know what I said. Uh, like it. Like it. <laughs> Loud and clear, Mike. Yes, now is the time to text Mike poop emojis. Yes, text Mike all the poop emojis you guys have. Send him poop emojis through text messages. Use your SMS text messages to send Michael poop emojis. And poop gifts. I think gifts are probably fine, too. If you guys want to toss some. Hmm. Interesting. So, playing Boris Signet doesn't actually get us closer to anything, so we might as well just keep miscalc here. Frank was the cause of the Eldrazi. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I'd be the cause of it, but I definitely uh, assisted in it. It's actually, it's definitely a, uh, uh, I encouraged it, let's say. See, even here, I don't love Boros Signet because, again, we can't do anything. I just want to keep miscalc up because they seem they still seem pretty low. Although if we if they draw if we draw like I guess if we draw Mercola or Ulamog, we're not gonna have five lands anyway. Uh gifts or gifts? Yes. I think either is fine. Yeah, see that's a good miscalc target. I don't want you to have a Sylvan library. The Eldrazi winter is right outside my door. I wish I could show you guys the amount of snow that we have. Oh, I like that. That's actually a solid sequence. Show and tell, the best use for show and tell here might be discarding it to force of negation. But this gets in there and doesn't die to anything. So that's kind of cool. So she could just make infinite infinite tokens and infinite treasures I want you to play opposition so I could force of negation it no I don't want you to play it I just want you to like play something stupid that I don't care about oh god do you, do you say it jiff Baron von Vaderham why Pronounce it like the peanut butter. I do, Brett. It's Jif. The same way. No. It's GIF. It's GIF. Yeah, it's GIF. Oh, God, I'm getting confused. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, dear Lord. I wish I forced of negation this one and had miscalc for this guy. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, the creator of the format. No, it's too late. You, you're, you're giving up. But he also just can't make he can't make words work the way he wants them to. It's 
it's not yeah it's not graphics it's also not uh it's not gifts like hey i'm, I'm gonna buy michael a, a, a gift you know like it's not Oh my god, this could actually be really good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They're probably like, oh, he just wants the token. I do. <laughs> How do you pronounce JPEG? J J JPEG. English is weird. I think that's what it comes down to. And I'm actually really not looking forward to the amount of discussion this is gonna this is gonna create in the in the comments. Look at this, I get to. I get to finish off this prime time. Beautiful. I mean, we have five mana now, so we're through the breach ready. We're locked and loaded, buddy. We're just waiting for a bullet. I guess we're not. Like, you can't be locked and loaded if you're not if you're not loaded. We're locked. I guess we're just trying to get loaded. Magda there was useful, actually, yeah. Got that two damage in. You gonna green, son? This this seems like either Avenger of Zendika. Oh, it's Crater Hoof. Woodfall Primus. Oh boy. Another situation where show and tell it's not looking good. Just kill my three islands. Interesting. I got Mucha with the poop emojis. Nice. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, son. Well, we have nothing to do here. I think we're just tapping down Big Big Daddy Tarras. Also, we're probably going to take show and tell out. Uh, it doesn't seem like we're going to benefit from that. If there was like... If Stifle was in the cube, I could definitely see playing Stifle show and tell. I'm sure Kerwood would love that. Quiet video. You guys want to watch this quiet video with me? It's only about three seconds. It's real quiet. Shh. Okay, they're just going to keep killing my lands. I understand. Uh, <laughs> Michael said, thanks for all the poop texts. <laughs> oh, good times. Oh, God, they got something else, huh? Boy, they sure got a lot of things here. Yep, that's what we were waiting for. That's hilarious. It opened up my eyes, I saw the sign. So we need to draw land Emrakul and then we can kill them. Fudge. Okay, just gotta draw Emrakul next turn. I guess it doesn't kill them. They just get to sack like these six. Or the food token and the Yeah, it doesn't even Emrakul doesn't even do it here, unfortunately.
I'm going to scoop here. There's nothing in our deck that actually saves us, especially not a spell pierce. Okay, take out show and tell. Bring in wear tear. Take out a mountain for a plateau. Another mountain for a sacred foundry. Hmm. I mean, sower seems great here. I mean, Rampaging Frostodon might actually be a beater here. We could also bring in Soul Scar Mage and Swift Spear and Avalanche Rider and Dark Dweller and just have a... And then we just got a good old time. Uh, Daredevil seems meh. Okay. Keep the same. We boarded out show and tell you, nerd. Look at that goose. What up, goose? You ain't never seen a goose like me. I kind of just want to kill this, this food token. I guess I'll play a land first. Is that even worth it? I don't even think that's worth it, I'm going to be honest with you. Because then they go untap land, Sylvan Library, and I'm like, what can I do now? What round is this? This is round two. Okay, that's fine. When you make pasta, do you make your own sauce or do you use a can? Uh, I, a lot of times I'll make my own sauce. If I don't use, if I don't make my own sauce, I usually use a sauce called Rouse, which is some of the best jarred sauce I've ever, I've ever had. A sauce called Ralph, no, Rouse, R-A-O apostrophe S. Here comes acidic slime. Oh, Fraley's. We actually don't have a great way to pressure that. They have two cards in hand. Ugh, not playing Plateau on turn two actually hurt us because we thought we were gonna play Wear Tear. Had we not, we could have end of turn teared and then uh, Force of Negation this without losing Dig Through Time. Still think it's worth getting rid of a Planeswalker that we otherwise have no way of, of dealing with. Plus she makes Gaia's Cradle significantly better as well. No, Teared. You guys know Teared. So we can play Season Pyromancer or discard two lands, but I don't think that's great because we need the lands right now. We could play Season Pyromancer, discard land Kiki Jiki, but I also don't want to discard Kiki Jiki, so. Hey, look at that. I'm actually. 
grateful that we discarded the dig through time because we would have never been able to cast it now. Maybe not grateful, but I feel less bad about it, I guess. I kind of just want to slam Kiki Jiki here. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, they're playing the odds of them having removal for this guy seems low and they have one card in hand, so. Mm-hmm. Really, you didn't use someone carry added to take my last card? That doesn't make sense to me, but okay. I mean, Terastodon doesn't kill Kiki Jiki, though. It just kills our lands, which is not necessarily better. Okay. Garrick is good with a Gaia's Cradle. Yep. I mean, I think Hope would actually be decent here, but I don't think there's a reason to play Garrick. I guess, I, no, I don't know. I mean, yeah, if I have Force of Will and something else as my last two cards, then sure, play Garrick first. Three, four, five, six. But this is also three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, you just have Scavenging Ooze and, and Hoof to attack with, so. <laughs> Okie dokie. So it is going to be Huff. Or Terastodon. Avenger. With no lands in hand. Actually, that's not the worst possible thing. Yeah, we're just going to take that. I think I'm pretty sure Hope would have been 16 damage. Oh, if they hard cast it? If they hard cast it, it's even it's even less, because they'd have to tap their goose and their Sylvan carry added. One, two, three. Well, that's interesting. Only seven mana, though, unfortunately. 
So we do have to fade a turn. Oh, Garrick's at four, though? Yeah, so we're probably dead here. <laughs> no, we can't. I'm pretty sure we cannot survive. Had I realized Garrick was at four, I would have made the token on, on their turn, but uh, right now I don't think that's going to make a difference. We save, like, two damage. <laughs> okay. Yep, that'll do. Yep, just not meant to win against this deck. Uh, if we season Pyromancer again, we would have hit Emrakul. Also doesn't do much. We could discard these two. We could then pay two to Impulse. One, two, three, four. Yeah, just nothing happening. Well, the 3 0 was close, but never meant to be. What's her personal best for trophies? I actually have no idea. I mean, we only have six mana, so if we bounce Garrick, like, it doesn't... Like, we can't play Season Pyromancer, so we're not getting any further in our deck, really. And, like, then next turn they just play Garrick again, and then we knew they draw Cultivate. So, I mean, like, it's... I don't know. Like, by also just casting Repeal on something cheap, we do get the chance to draw Zealous Conscripts, or... Mm, yeah, just, just Zealous Conscripts, I guess, which would have been decent. This is a long time. <sighs> nope. Oh boy, two one-landers, huh? I mean, I guess we'll keep this. We're halfway to the combo with this guy. And we do have a Signet. I think we're just shipping Cryptic Command because it's just a harder to cast Venser at this point. Oh, they went to five, though. They went to four. Okay. They went to three. Okie dokie. <laughs> I mean, geez. I guess we're I guess our mulligan doesn't matter as much now. If only we had Mastermind's acquisition there. God, can you imagine? If only. Oh dear. No one goes to three. You concede at three. It's true. Uh, let's untap the blue here.
So I think we're actually playing Pyromancer or discarding these two. We have multiple things that we could hit for Through the Breach. Whereas Venser's just not cutting it here. One, two, we also get a body. Thank you. That seems fine. Marbler, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. And let's do it. Dang it. Still need one more land, too, huh? Huh? Well, you discarded a mountain, stupid. You know, I guess that's true. I guess I did. Oh, boy, look at this guy. Look at this old timer. And I opened up my eyes, I saw the sun. We're definitely icing this guy. I got some pressure on him. We're not going to... We want to draw more cards. All right, Emrakul. Dang it. Dang it, Emrakul. Got it. Been got to run. Been fun. Have fun. Catch you later. MTG Packard. I'll see you later, buddy. Let's see what you got. <coughs> Man, Ulamog does get no respect. He always wants Emrakul. He never wants me. I mean, to be fair, in round one, we hit Ulamog under Through the Breach, or under Sheldock Isle twice. That was kind of cool. Omnath? Man, I'm going to steal that. Wait, they played in... Oh, they had to play their island in order to cast the Omnath. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah, brah. One, two, three, four. Get busy sewing. I want your Omnath. I can have this. Playland. Always yield. Pew, pew, pew. Put you a three. Best spell appears play I've seen in quite... I mean, they were just going to play at least one land, maybe two. So, them gaining four there just doesn't seem necessary. Okay. Are we show and telling? We're definitely disenchanting and wear and tearing. And we're going to go Plateau Foundry again. Boop, boop. Dire Fleet seems bad. Doesn't seem to have the abs of many targets. Was that English? Nobody knows what that was. Um, I think we'll just go 41 here. I'm okay with it. Avalanche Riders could be fine. I don't I don't hate it. Yeah, I mean if they're trying to if they're if they're trying to crucible out their their strip mine or their wasteland, um having disenchant uh wear tear and Embereth Shield Breaker seems good. Um, you know what? I'll keep it. Miscalc seems reasonable early. Force of Negation seems fine after that. Oh, what up, Alpha Wolf? They went to six here on the draw. Man. Mox again. Winter Orb, turn one. Turn one, Winter Orb. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you got it, champ. Thank you. Yeah, we'll just play Alpha. I mean, I catch your streams all the time, but I, Alpha Wolf, I appreciate it, buddy. I catch them on YouTube. If you guys are watching on YouTube, be sure to go to my house. 
That doesn't make any sense. Why do you say that? Nobody knows. Oh, boy. Be sure to follow or subscribe and also check out the uh, twitch.tv slash Frank Kapoor and subscribe there if you're able to. Really appreciate it if you, if you want to do that. And uh, Yeah, I don't care about it this time because it's, it's, why, I don't, yeah, it's, nope, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's in the middle of our street. <laughs> you didn't attack? What could I have? What could I have? I mean, can it be? Wouldn't it be nice if we just? Uh... Oh boy, you're gonna crack a clue, but then tap two of your lands, and only one of your lands untaps. I mean, it's arguable that I, I actually should have Force of Negation the Winter Orb. I, I think there, an argument could definitely be made by that. Once we're vaccinated, you can buy me. You can buy me something, but I'm not a. I'm not a, an alcohol drinker. I'm, I don't. I'm not a big drinker, so. Uh, we had the largest snowstorm in like 13 years this this past weekend. Today it's nice. It's like 45 out. I kind of want to take a walk after this. Right now it is 50 degrees. That's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Hold on, I'm clearing these messages out. There's so many. Okay. Okay, so we're at the end of their turn. Oh. I mean, I kind of just want to do that. It seems really good. Okie dokie. I mean, now they're just going to die to these guys. That seems good. Can I buy you a cup of melted snow from your backyard? No way, buddy. I'm giving that away. Meeting a hero. Get out of here. I appreciate you saying that, but... I'm just a regular dude that plays Magic the Gathering. Look, we got Tireless Tracker, and then we can Bloodstain Mire for two lands. Hashtag two lands. Mm. Also, when your opponent has Winter Orb out, miscalculation. Surprisingly better. I also should not be F6ing when we have Force of Negation in hand. Is there is there still snow on the ground? Oh god, yes. Oh god, yes. Oh, we've had a nice snow shovel. Katie's lived in both Montana and Colorado before before this. Like Katie was here before I was, in other words. So like it's not like uh it's not like I went into this blind. Like she's definitely been There's also snow on the snow. Yeah, there's huge piles. There's like 2 foot, 3 foot high piles of snow. Because like we've we've had to, when we we were clearing things out we put the snow on the other snow, it's snow on snow. You know what I mean? <laughs> Did I just take a bloodstain mire for two lands? Man, can you imagine? Uh, I don't think this does anything, so I guess they can kill a clue. I don't know, that seems unexciting. What are they what are they hitting? They're just they're just gaining four? Interesting. Oh jeez. I like EOT Venser actually. It kinda gives us a lot of play here. You got it. <laughs> snow on snow action actually is the exact opposite of hot Sammy. It's cold. It's quite cold. It's frigid. Doretti. Mom's spaghetti. Do I just counter five, six, seven? If I just counter this guy, they have like basically nothing going on. I'm game. Uh, one, two, three, four. 
Oh, we can also bounce the winter orb. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. We can also just bounce the winter orb counter Duretti. I don't think we care about the Duretti, to be honest with you. Yeah, we're bouncing the winter orb. I don't care about Duretti. Okay, so they're just dead. Maybe. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, they go to they go to two. Dang. Hmm. <laughs> huh. 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 Do they don't even activate already? What is going on, dude? So yeah, we're gonna kill the Doretti. Attack their face. We know we don't. You know what? It's not a coward stream, guys. Crucible, sure. So now we know you have winner or one other card. You got it. <coughs> 2-1? Are we doing 2-1? Unforgiven. I, th I feel like out of all the three times we've tried through the breach, this one was the, the most successful, I would say. This one actually left us feeling good about the plays we made. Oh. Um, so you have Fast Bond. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I'm good with the, with you have one card and it being Winter Orb. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out mandatraders.com. Be sure to check out compare.com. Uh, the, the link is going to be down in the description below, so be sure to check that out. It's free service. It's a great way to find out if you're saving the most on car insurance. Even if you don't think you are, you can just check, and then you'll know. Well, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.